In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to make a component of text pop on the screen with the title designer. You'll often see this on an ad like the one we have on the screen where the 0% financing kind of stands out for a couple of seconds. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, I have my title on my title track. I'll double click on it and that will launch my title designer. Now in the title designer you see I've made each of these pieces of text separate so I can manage them independently. And what I am also in using PowerDirector 16 here, I'm in the advanced mode which gives me more options on the left side. Uh, so we'll work on that in a moment. But it would be really nice if I could just use a, an effect to do that. But the problem with effects is even if I had one that worked, effects work at the beginning uh, of a track where my title is. And at the end, they don't simply work in the middle. Uh, so if I want a beginning effect on this, I can put one there by clicking on the effect tab. I can do a starting effect. And maybe I could go down to a pop-up one here, like pop-up one, and it will simply pop in. But the problem is uh, it, it doesn't give me the look I want, and it starts right at the beginning of the clip. So if I, if I click my play button here, it pops in there. Or let me go ahead and change that 0%. Move down again here. And uh, let me try pop up uh, three. Okay, that might that might be okay in some cases where right at the beginning I will get this low movement where the percent will come in. It's okay, but it doesn't actually stand out like I see on commercials. So how can I do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to click here and remove my effect. Go back to no effect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the Object tab to actually use keyframes. So in order to do that, I need to click the right arrow here, and that will bring up all my keyframe options. And let's say that, a, that I want to keyframe my scale. So I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning, and I'll click the diamond on Scale, and that will set the scale. And then I'll go to the end, and I'll uh, set the scale there too, because I want it to stay the same, except for maybe a little ways in. So let's say I want it. I want to go in here, and I'm looking at my time indicator here. Uh, let's 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 go in uh, two seconds and 18 frames, and then I want this to pop out with some narration. So I'm going to uh, right click on the scale and say duplicate previous keyframe. And then I'm going to go over and let's see, I want it for, I said 218. Let's try, oh, let's try 306. So that's, I don't want it to pop out for very long. And I'll right click and do dupli duplicate previous keyframe. Now I have four keyframes and they're all just normal. So what I'm going to do between these two is I'm going to create two more keyframes. So I, I'm on this keyframe. I'll hit my arrow key to go back just a single frame, and then I'll click on the diamond. That will let me add a keyframe. And this keyframe, I'm going to go and move my scale, and it's at 100%, 1.00. I'm going to go maybe, let's go bigger here. Uh, let's go 1.3. Okay. And then I'm going to move to the other diamond. Move ahead with the right arrow on the keyboard. Set a keyframe there. And I'm going to make that the same. So that will be also a 1.30. Okay. So the scale is the same here. We are a frame apart, and it stays that, that enlarged for this length of time, and then it goes back. Let's play this and see what happens. Let's see what it looks like when I'm in, in, uh, in playing in the normal mode here. There we go. We'll play here, and it pops up and goes away. 
and I can do that to really any text anywhere in my project. So this is one way to emulate uh, something you see that you might want to use to emphasize something anywhere in your project in the normal title designer in CyberLink PowerDirector.